Hello, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. We're back to the walleye spot. Absolutely gorgeous out here. And unfortunately, I had to work today, which is the bad news, but good news is um, typically the walleye in here don't start biting until it starts getting dark anyway. And uh, it's officially started getting dark. So um, we're getting here right at prime time. I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling while it's light. Hopefully get some hook sets on film for you. And hopefully we get one more walleye limit. My uh, fishing license um, expires here in two days. So um, it's a $60 license to fish here. So I like to get at least $60 worth of walleye every year. some that time. over 21 we, I'm still gonna keep him but uh, you're only allowed to keep one over 21 I don't think so I think he's about 20 nope I don't know he's not even 20 not even 20 19 alrighty cool the stringer has officially started second time I missed him the first time the second time he had like a ton of bricks it was good that I yanked it thing is when you go to set the hook and miss um, you're actually making that bait fish act like a real fish this one's gonna be barely keeper I think better measure this one when you set the hook and miss you're mimicking what a real bait fish will do you know when a fish hits it it's a it's a bait fish that bait fish is gonna freak out and swim away so every time you think you're getting a nibble, you want to set the hook and make it look natural. Oh yeah, he keeps. And if you set that hook and miss it, a lot of times it'll be like, oh, nope, that's a real fish. And then uh, they'll hit it again even harder the second time. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, I'll, I'll be careful on the way home. I'm up to two walleye so far. So. Okay. Yep, thanks.
Yeah. Feels like a better one. Still allowed one over 21. Might be able to swing this one up. It's not a better one. This might be a sublegal one, actually. No, it's a legal one, I think. Grab my net, though. Crazy. I just realized my sister was in a pretty bad car accident, which is not good. I guess everyone's okay. Um, not good, though. Maybe this one isn't legal. Well, we'll find out in a second if this one's legal or not. Holy cow. I just almost got myself in a serious accident here. I didn't expect that to shift. All right. Reading the text message after the whole whatever's going on with my family here. And uh, once you know, you got another fish. This ain't a saw guy, is it? I think that's a walleye. It's got the white tip. I don't know if this one's going to make legal or not. If I have to really stretch them, I don't like to play games. But if he's, if he's easy 15, we'll keep him. Oh, yeah. 15 and a quarter. So indefinite keeper. We'll keep him. On, baby, on, baby, on, on, on. Nope, I'm on a stick. F word. Oh, that's a bad spot for that stick, too. That's like the worst possible spot I could have left that stupid stick. These walleye, man, they just, they're just picking it up so lightly. Feels just like when a stick bites. <laughs> oh, hit right there. Oh, he took my bait. Took my bait. Dang it. <sighs> That's another good bite, man. Shoot a cast up this way because I just missed one up here. He's biting good too. Oh, that was a good one. That was a real good one, man. That was huge. Holy cow, that was huge. That might be a pike. I think I'm messing with a pike. Whew, I took dragging everything, man. Whew. I think I'm messing with a pike or a muskie that's hitting. But I don't know. Who knows, man? It might just be a really, really aggressive walleye, too. Pop this thing completely off. He's biting right in front of me, so it's hard to, uh, hard to hook him when they do that. All right, retied. Getting near the end of camera hour here. I think I put on a little bit heavier jig head this time. Might be. I don't know if that's going to be advantageous or not. Helps us to cast a little farther. I think I got bit already. I think I just got bit. I think it might be advantageous. It's a brighter jig head, I know that. Come on, I'm on. It's a smaller one. Definitely on, though. All right. Well, switching jig heads worked. I don't know that's a smaller one. I think it just bit a little lighter. Oh, no, he came off. Oh, dang it, man. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Came off while I was trying to get the net. I gotta remember to put the net back every single time. I gotta put the net back every single time. That was my limit right there, and we missed it. I keep forgetting to put the net back over here. All right. Well, that was uh, pretty immediate. I'm in that stupid snag again. It's so impossible to tell what's a snag and what's a bite, man. They're just picking it up just barely. Like that last fish felt just like this snag. I think I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit closer this time. I thought that heavier jig, it wouldn't drift in as much. Oh, I'm right, I'm at the rocks right in front of me. It's coming up, it's coming up. <laughs> All right, that's the stick from earlier. Okay, good. Let's get that stick way out of there, actually. Get that stick entirely out of here. All right, never go back in the water ever again. And the snags and the fish are just, it's impossible to tell the difference. Alright folks.
points. That's a limit. That one hit right in front of me. That might be the one that I missed a couple times back yonder. Got him. All right. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera. Hoo hoo hoo. Keeper for sure, folks. We got our four fish limit. Look at that. Something ain't quite right with his eye. Something is not right with your eye. Your other eye looks fine, though. I think we're still going to keep this one. An infected eye. And uh, looks like he got a battle wound there from a pike or something. All right. Let's see. 18. All righty, folks. We'll take a couple more casts. And then um, probably going to call it quits. All righty. Well, fish are all blood out, ready to go. We got our Seneca limit. Look how many bait fish are in here still. Quite a few bait fish. A lot of bugs out, too. Um, you can see a lot of bait around uh, this uh, discharge here. That's what all these walleye are. Uh, that's what attra is attracting these walleye. We should have had an even better day. They're biting so light. When you cast away out there, they bite so light. And uh, it's hard to hook them. And then there's a couple that slammed it right there, right underneath my feet. And when they slam it right underneath your feet, it's hard to hook them. And you can see, got a lot of snags today too. Normally, I'd be embarrassed by setting the hook on a snag and getting excited about it. But I'm not even embarrassed because it was so hard to tell today what was a snag and what was a bite. You basically, every single time it felt like you hit a rock or a log or something, you had to set the hook. And about two thirds of the time, it was indeed a fish. But a solid third of the time, it was indeed a snag. And then you just snag something. So it was rough, but we got a limit. Only lost two jigs and two Kytex. I'm gonna get out of here, call it quits, get home, clean these fish. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next adventure.